Hi, and welcome to the Simply Rhino for Mac tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to create an object using circle, arc, line, curve, boolean, polar array, and then solid extrude planar curve straight. Now this is the uh, this is the resulting object that we're going to create. So I'm just going to hide it and then we'll recreate it. So let me hide all of those uh, the curves too. So let's just we can create this all in the top view. Now let's start off with a circle. Come across to the left here. I click on the circle button. Now it's asking me in bold for the centre of the circle. Shortcut to the origin is zero. So just typing in zero will place the centre of the circle at the intersection of the x and the y axis. Now I've got a, an in, a smaller circle in the centre here and I know that its diameter is, is one and a half. So if I click on diameter, it means that Rhino will accept a diameter input. Now the outer circle here I know is a radius of three. So I'm going to come up and click on circle again, and this time it's asking me for centre of circle, so let's place it at zero. Now if I click on radius, it just means the input now, Rhino will accept a radial input, so I'm going to type in three, enter. Now in order, I want to create a very, just a, um, an arc here, or a semicircle, and I'm going to achieve that by clicking on the arc button here. Now, the default method is via the centre of the arc. Now, I know that I can find the centre of the arc by using some absolute coordinates. I know if I type in 1.75,0, that will give me a placement for the centre of the arc. Now, I know that the um, overall, that the uh, diameter is 0.75, but if I was to type in 0.375, which is half of that value, you can see I'm, I can... This is actually distance angle constraint that I'm using within the arc command. I've defined a distance. Now, in order to confirm the orientation, I need to hold down the shift key in order to make sure that's vertical. Then make a left click. Now I'm going to sweep my arc down, and holding down the shift key again, I make another left click. Now, I want to draw a line from the end point here, horizontally at the point and then complete that line and then it's intersection with the circumference of the circle. So if I just type in LIN, there's my line command, so I choose that, I press enter. Now I need to find the end point of this line here, so I've got my object snap end on, so I'll make a left click. Now I need to find the intersection here, and I've got intersection here on in my clickable, in my object snaps, but it's not identifying as yet. It's not until you hold down the shift key that that will be identified. Left click. So I just repeat that. I find the end, move over to the circumference of the circle, hold down the shift key, left click. Now, I'd like to create a copy, a series of copies around the center of this object. And I'm going to achieve that by using the command array polar. Um, array meaning um, orderly arrangement. I make my selection of my three curves, I come up to the top here, and I go to Transform Array Polar. Now first thing it's going to ask me for is the centre of the polar array. Now the shortcut to the centre will be of course zero. Enter. Now it's asking me here, number of items. That's correct. I'll accept that by pressing Enter. Six. Now it needs to know the angle to fill, or reference point. So if I press enter, it will accept the value that I have typed into this box here, 360, meaning full circle. Now they haven't turned yellow yet, which means that I'm looking at a preview. So I need to press enter to accept as stated here in the top left hand corner. Now I can make changes here, I could increase the number if I wish. But if I press enter, it will create those arrayed objects. Now. What I need to do is I need to trim away these parts of the circle here where these where these curves meet. Now I could kind of travel around the circle using the trim command in order to achieve that. Alternatively, what I could do is I could come up to the top here, choose curve, curve edit tools, 
and choose curve boolean. Okay, in a previous exercise we saw a boolean command being used on solids. In this case it's being used on curves. Note that my delete input here is set to all. Okay, you've got a few, you've got none used or all. So I'm going to use all. Now it asks me to select curves. I'm just going to drag a window around all my curves and press enter. It now asks me, click inside regions to keep. If I left click in this space here, Rhino will give me a preview of what it's going to leave me with. That's fine, I press enter. You see what that's done? It's an automated trim. It's taken out those parts of the object. Very, very useful command. Now, let's take advantage of the fact that my new set of curves is, is selected by coming up to the top here, choosing solid, extrude planar curves straight. So this is going to turn these curves into a solid. Now, it's going to ask me for, in bold here, extrusion distance. This is the thickness of the object that I'm just about to create. Let's move into the perspective. Okay. Now, if I type in, if I press enter now, it will accept the default value of 1. Thanks for joining us today. Please subscribe to the Simply Rhino for Mac YouTube channel to receive updates when new tutorials are posted. Thank you.